in a long list of uh, that I've been lucky enough to be able to do of um, plays and near musical and um, uh, film and, uh, and TV and a great amount of theatre. Um, this experience of, of working with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir is really, for me, on its own. This is on a different scale. There's no question about that. Uh, and so this is, for me, is, uh, I was going to say, the beginning of, of, of a new and different upsurge in um, uh, performance connections. Having said it's the beginning, there isn't nowhere else <laughs> except the, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir where you could ever do such a thing. News of the hospital's work spread quickly. Every night, women appeared at the gates, sometimes by the hundreds. I was familiar, of course, with listening to and attending performances of Messiah, and to some extent familiar with the work of Handel, but I had no idea about uh, the underbelly of creation of this extraordinary work and that uh, he drew on aspects of his own life. Um, the fact that he himself, got himself into, into debt, he wasn't a very well man, all of which meant that he understood the afflicted and um, he also um, wanted to do something about it. He was um, an extremely, to use the word of our, our week, charitable person uh, for the first performance in Ireland, he wanted it to be a charity performance um, and he wanted it to raise money. Uh, and then when um, it, it became a, a, a great initial success, he wanted to do the same and more so in London for the, um, the afflicted, the displaced mothers. He wanted to find a way of um, raising money on behalf of these, these poor women and, and, and their children. And he did. In telling the story of, uh, of Handel in, in this regard, one cannot help feeling <laughs> that he was trying to do something that he learned from the, the story of Christ. And so, uh, in a way, uh, it becomes even more inspiring. And then, of course, when you hear the music and how he found a way of rising above this to bring a force of good, um, I I into the world and, and to, to bring uh, succor and rescue uh, to these um, displaced people a and people um, in debt too, uh, raising money to um, pay off the debts of impoverished, poverty-stricken people who were in prison. So for all these reasons, it's an inspiring story, something that I personally have never been, had the privilege of, of inhabiting in such a way. And it's a, a, an honor not only to be standing in front of, and quite rightly a little below the choir, who are behind me in their great glory, uh, and to, for us all to somehow to share with the wonderful Met soloists that are, are performing these very carefully graded excerpts of Messiah. Well, it's just an honor and a privilege, and I'm very pleased to be able to contribute something um, to the great audience of the story of Handel.